Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a no makeup makeup look. And pretty much what that is, is I'm going to be putting makeup on, but I'm not going to be doing like a full face makeup. This look is actually perfect for if you want to look like you're wearing something, but you don't want to actually look like you're wearing anything, if that makes sense. I don't know if it makes sense or not, but I mean, it kind of does to me. So I will actually do this look on days when I really don't feel like wearing makeup, like nothing at all. But when I look in the mirror, I'm like, girl, you need to paint that barn. But then my spirit says, I don't feel like doing it today, okay? I am tired and I'm sick of makeup. And then I look in the mirror again and I'm like, girl, you need to put something on your face. So that's pretty much the look I'm gonna be doing today. Let's get started. First off, prep your face, okay? I don't care what you're doing, you need to prep your face. So the first thing I'm gonna be doing is spraying the Skin Diva Hydrating and Anti-Aging Infusion Spray. It has argaroline, I don't know what that is, but okay, and it's got rose extract. So it's kind of like a rose spray. Um, I actually showed this to you guys before and showed you that I put it in this other bottle because I hated this bottle, but I haven't refilled that bottle yet because I'm kind of lazy right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray that all over. It comes out pretty strong from that bottle, so like, a lot of product gets sprayed in my face, so that's why I'm kind of like just rubbing it in. So the next step I'm going to do is add some eye cream. This is a dark circle eye cream from the same company, which is Skin Diva, or it's Skin Diva. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, so sorry about that, girl. But this is supposed to hydrate, lighten, and firm. It has hyaluronic acid and some other goodies that I don't know how to pronounce, but I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this to my under eye area and also my upper eye area. Regardless of if you're going to be wearing makeup or not, or whether it's day or night or just whatever you're doing, you should always be like putting really good stuff on your skin because you need to take care of your skin, girl, okay? Next, I'm gonna be going in with two more products from Skin Diva, and I have been using these day and night, and I'm loving them. This one has hyaluronic acid. It is the Max Strickle, I don't know. I'll link it down below because I can't pronounce it. But this is an anti-wrinkle and skin matrix repair. And then this other one has 20% vitamin C and E, plus ferulic acid. It's a super antioxidant. It neutralizes free radicals, brightens, and evens skin tone. What I love about these products are they are super thin. It's almost like rubbing a water on my skin, but you can tell that it's a serum. They just apply so nicely and they sink in pretty quickly so you can get on about your day. So I'm adding the other one now, which is just a little bit thicker, but still it is just so super, super light and it doesn't take that long to sink into my skin. Now, if you wanna go for the no makeup look, then just go as you are right now. You ain't gotta do nothing else. Which I could do right now because I'm not going anywhere or doing anything today, but um, obviously I'm making this video, so. So yeah, I'm about to show you how I do it. Now that I've let those goodies absorb into my skin, I'm gonna go in with my Old Faithful, my Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. And y'all know I've been using this since I was like 11 years old. It is my old faithful, it is my go-to. Um, no matter what I do in life, I always go back to that lotion. So I feel like this look is pretty simple and I mean it kinda makes it look like you've done something with yourself instead of just running out the door like this. And I feel like um, most people would have these products in their home, so it's not like you have to go to extremes and buy extra stuff to do a no makeup makeup look. I think you'll probably already have some of this stuff. Maybe not the same brands, but something like it. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This is a dark eraser. Um, it's a concealer. And the first thing I'm going to do is apply it under my eyes and on my eyelids. I'm gonna go in with my handy dandy sponge and I'm just going to pat that out. Blend it, you know, you know. I'm just gonna take whatever's left over on my sponge and just kind of dab it around my face. 
Next, I'm going to go in with a little BB cream. So BB creams, they're pretty good because they're like tinted moisturizers and they got benefits. And this one also has um, sunscreen in it. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this. As you can see, it is colored. So it's a tinted moisturizer, like I just said. And I'm actually just gonna pick this up with my fingers, warm it up in between my fingers and apply it to my skin. So there's going to be like a light coverage because there is color in it, but it's not going to be too much to where you can tell I have face makeup on or makeup on, whatever. So the next thing I'm going to do is my eyebrows. Okay, I don't care what you're doing, what you're wearing on your face that day, just do your eyebrows and it kind of makes you feel like you did something and it makes you feel a lot better and makes you look a little more presentable. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. I'm just brushing them right now. This is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. I love the little brush on it, but I'm not going to be using this to fill in my eyebrows today. I'm just using the comb. To fill in my eyebrows, I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I feel like this stuff works so well if you're in a rush. You can just get it done so much faster. I'm gonna be using a angled Wet n Wild brush and I'm just going to dip my brush in there. And um, what I like to do with my brows is kind of like trace the top part, kind of create a fake, um, whatchamacallit, arch? I don't know. But uh, yeah, so I just go for the top, I trace it, pull it up a little bit to make it look like I actually have an eyebrow. And then I like to go underneath and just trace that, just follow along the lines. And then I like to start filling it in. And I also kind of bring it more inward, um, making it look like I have a super long eyebrow like that comes in all the way over here, girl. So yeah, as you can see, I don't really have good eyebrows, so you gotta fake it until you make it, okay? It's super simple though. Just trace your eyebrow, fill it in, and you're good to go. So there is one eyebrow, and now I'm going to do the other one. Watch this, I'm going to do a magic trick. Okay, so here's no eyebrow. Bam, I have a second eyebrow now. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is add some warmth to my face. I feel like if you have a little bit of warmth to your face, girl, then you're on the road to success already. Yeah, I don't know where that came from, but anyways, I'm gonna go in with my D.O. color brush. This is number 11. It's fluffy, it's slanted, it's perfect for blushes, bronzers, powders, whatever. And I'm gonna go in with this Hoola Benefit. You can use any bronzer, but this one's kind of light. I mean, you can add more to make it more bronzy, but you can go light with it too, if you want to. Um, and I think it's just a gorgeous shade, and I personally think that it could match with so many skin tones. So I'm just going to lightly um, brush it on all the places that the sun would naturally hit, girl. Um, or whatever, I'm just trying to sound like I know what I'm talking about, but I actually don't. But pretty much I'm just going to add it like on my forehead, a little on that jawline, bring it down to the neck, and on the cheeks here and of course on the nose. Next, I'm just going to go in with this huge fluffy brush. It's my favorite brush. It is from Koki Professional and it is a 618. And I'm just going to um, kind of blend that a little bit because hello, it's a no makeup makeup look. Next, I'm going to go in with a light blush. Normally, I would cake on the blush until I look like a clown. You know me, girl. But um, I'm going light because, like I said, this is a no makeup makeup look. So I just want to look like I'm kind of blushing. You know what I mean? So this is from Essence. This is the Satin Touch Blush. And it's in the shade Satin Coral. And it's so pretty. <sighs> okay, let's knock some of that extra off. So I'm just going to like lightly, try so hard to lightly apply this to my cheeks. Not too much now. <laughs> I'm gonna go back in with that big fat brush and blend it out. If I'm not looking at the camera at you, it's cause I'm looking at my viewfinder because uh, yeah, it's hard to look in the mirror while I'm doing this right now. 
Okay, now I'm gonna go back in with that Hoola bronzer. I'm gonna get some on my brush, blow it off, and I'm going to sweep it across my eyelid like that. And then I'm also going to go in with my blush and dip that blush brush back in there, blow it off, and also kind of sweep that on my eye. I'm going to go in with my little um, Real Techniques contour brush and just kind of make sure everything's blended and there's nothing harsh going on. This hair is totally falling to the side of my head, which I guess it goes perfect with my look, so I'm not gonna complain. So now I'm going to take an eyelash curler and I'm going to add some shape to my eyelashes. So I have pretty long eyelashes and they're super white. Um, they're pretty much non-existent when you look at them until I put mascara on. So I don't wanna put mascara on because it will be way too obvious. So I'm gonna show you a little trick that I like to do when I'm doing this kind of look. It's going to seem kind of odd, but it works for me. So I'm taking this Maybelline Master Kajal Cream Coal Eyeliner. And what I'm going to do, see it's like real fat-like. I'm going to brush it on my lashes. Basically, I'm going right by the lash line. I'm kind of tapping the inner lash line there and I am just brushing my eyelashes with this pencil as if I was applying mascara. So you can kind of tell it looks like I kind of did something there. So it's hitting my upper rim, my upper waterline, and I'm also just hitting my lashes with it. Now I'm going to lightly do the same on my bottom lashes, except I'm not going to touch my waterline because then that would definitely make me look like I have eyeliner on. Even though this barely shows up on my bottom lashes, it kinda kinda shows up and it just makes me feel like I kind of did something instead of leaving that bare. I'm going to do a little lip erase so I can cover up that bright pigmentation of my lip. Then I'm going to go in with my favorite e.l.f. color, and this is in the shade Natural. And I'm just going to line the outside of my lip there. And then just kind of pat it on there. Not too much, not too much. We're trying to look like we have nothing on, okay? I'm going to finish off this look with some setting spray, girl, even though I didn't put any makeup on today. But this is the Slay All Day by Gerard Cosmetics. This is one of their mini travel ones. These are amazing. And this is in the scent Cucumber. I almost forgot, there's one other small step I like to do. I like to just take an eyeliner and kind of get some on the tip of my finger. Make sure there's barely any there and just kind of like pat it on that bottom lash line where you would put eyeliner and then rub it out, kind of like smudge it so it's actually non-existent, but looks like something's kind of there. So yeah, girl, I am good to go. I can go run errands, I can go grocery shop, I can go do whatever I want and feel like I kind of made myself up somewhat and I'm not a complete monster. <laughs> or maybe I am, I don't know. Personally, I feel like it's all about how you feel. Like it really doesn't matter what him or her thinks or them over there. It's about how you feel on the inside. So whatever's gonna make you feel a little bit better, a little bit prettier, a little more confident, then do that, okay? That's all I'm saying. So yeah, this is my no makeup makeup look. Now y'all know I just sat there and put makeup on, but I kinda didn't. You know, well, it's not as much as I normally would, but still. Okay, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel. It only takes one second to click that subscribe button, and it would mean the world to me, and I would love you forever if you subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and leave me some comments down below, and let me know what your favorite item, makeup item, is to use when you are running errands. What is the one thing that you feel like makes you more, feel more confident. Like, is it doing your eyebrows? Is it a little mascara? Is it lip gloss, lipstick, concealer, bronzer, 
whatever. I would love to hear what like your go-to product is when you're trying to be quick and out the door running errands and you want to put a little something on but you don't want to put too much. You know what I'm saying? I would love to hear what it is that you like to use. I just showed you everything I like to use on these kind of days. So yeah, I love to hear from you, girlfriend. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!